What's going on everybody? This is Robbie again. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this 3D looking Instagram post. I've always wanted to create this and I'm finally able to teach you guys how to do this. So first thing you will need is a screenshot. Make sure it is the longer photo and not the square one. And you kind of want to like, you know, create this kind of screenshot so we can easily crop it. So go to your crop tool and select four by five. And let's see, you want to move a little bit around so the date is right around the corner. Hit OK. All right, so we have something like this. Now what we're going to do is drag my photo of the background. Just pick a photo, whatever you're comfortable with. Now we are going to take this bird out of the photo so first we're going to rasterize our layer and then i'm going to go to my quick selection tool and i'm going to hit select subject it may take a while to do this what it does is selects the main object but you gotta make sure that you fill out these little spots our bird is selected so now i'm going to hit command j so now it'll create like a separate layer i'm going to move this little guy down with this previous photo what i will do is just basically get my spot healing tool and just kind of fill it up once we fix our background photo i'm going to make this bird a little bigger and just like our last video, we're going to create a shadow. So I'm going to duplicate this and put my layer down. I'm going to hit command, click on the thumbnail. <clears throat> Go to my selection tool, right click, fill it with a color. Let's say dark gray. Hit OK. Command D to deselect. Now I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Ha! Look at that. Okay. And then I'm going to lower my opacity a little. Just a tad bit. I'm going to move my shadow. So it kind of covers the area of my text so it looks more realistic and 3d-ish so this is how i achieve this instagram 3d looking post i want you guys to create this and post it on your instagram and tag me at rabia.design comment down below let me know if you have used this technique before or will you use it in the future i will see you guys again in the next video thank you